Okay. Hello. Good afternoon, Michaela. Uh, where did you study music? Uh, I was studying in Vienna and in Basel in Switzerland. Okay. And could you tell us with whom or some names? Um, I had um, my my oratory and lead lessons I had with Walter Berry, and uh, who was a very important Austrian uh, bass singer. And I finished with uh, Robert Holl, another very important uh, but Dutch uh, bass, living in Vienna. Mm-hmm. And speaking about musical repertoires, are you specialized in any repertoire? Um, no, I'm I'm not um, not specialized. But as my voice is now in a lyric position, I have um, um, I do a lot of Mozart and also Strauss. And besides this, I do in recitals I do a lot of Mahler. So I'm I'm really in this um, yeah lyric, all the lyric uh, stuff. Okay. Uh, could you tell me uh, something about the best soloists or conductors you have uh, been with on stage or someone who really impressed you or you really love to work with? So there are, of course, many, many colleagues who I really admire, um, singers and conductors. And uh, I was thinking about it. Um, and I think the, the thing that is impressing me the most by colleagues or conductors is when they are consumed by the music so that they are really going for it so that they have um, a very strong opinion about it and they they really decide to do it and they want to do it so this is uh, people like um, uh, maestro muti with whom i had the pleasure to sing uh, a few times it's um, like you, you really feel that uh, it's absolutely essential to go for it uh, or I have uh, this fantastic colleague like Anja Hateros the, the uh, German soprano she's so concentrated in in when she's when she's singing um, she's doing what she needs to produce this fantastic sound and and I think that the, um, the capacity of concentrating is uh, very important in in the making music and this is what I and and the and the, the desire of getting a good result, this is what impresses me uh, in colleagues. Is there any concert that you remember especially, the most significant in your life? Some... Um, there is, uh, of course, when uh, as a singer you have a life, you, you, you practice a lot, you study a lot, and there are always very delicate phrases you want to bring out better and then um, you go on stage and then uh, sometimes it works out. Uh, sometimes um, there are moments when things finally work out, things you have uh, practiced for years and this is very um, um, benefiting moments. Uh, but I think what uh, um, when I was uh, quite a young girl with 15, I sang in a choir, in a very good uh, amateur choir. And there I, I got this feeling for uh, doing something together, which really was very uh, um, also comforting for me. And I think this, this uh, made a huge impact for me to, to do uh, music professionally. The festival of this year is based on Mozart. In your opinion, why is Mozart one of the great composers of the history? Uh, oh, why? Um, I think it um, because you can uh, um, you can listen to Mozart in any occasion of your life. I think it's always appropriate. I think. And it's probably, um, yeah, if you stress this uh, question, what would you take to the island? It would be Mozart. If only one composer, I think it would be Mozart. Mm. What significant aspects could you stand out of the Mozart's vocal re- repertoire? Um, um, he's, so this question also means what does he demand of the voice? Uh, what is so special about it? Um, it's... Um, it's always um, the, the the phrases are always I don't know it's difficult to describe but it's it's like a skin and you 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 have the skin that is the phrase but there is so much underneath and you have to 
you have to feel this underneath in a way and you ha it has to be very simple no it's very complex and very simple what would you like of his vocal music specially ha huh. uh, you mean which piece or yeah we, we, about his music his um what do you like of his vocal music especially i mean the um, I don't know it's, the melody, the rhythm, the. It's the architecture. I think it's a it's a very it's a great architecture. So he builds. He, he has a phrase where he puts um, bridges. You go over some bridges in the phrase. It, it it's very accurate. It, and you have to get it right. This is uh, so. It's so much. Um, um, you can spend so much time with it without getting bored. I think it. This is so. Yeah, this is what I what I like when I practice on it. You know, you never get bored. <laughs> <laughs> Three words to define Mozart. <sighs> Simple. Um, timeless. I don't know if if this is uh, an English word. So it's it's uh, without time. It it works in any time. Um, Human, maybe, yeah. Mm. Could you speak something about the compositions you are going to sing in Bogota? Ah, uh, so um, I, uh, as I, I told you, I was singing in choir a lot, uh, like maybe ten years, and um, of course uh, the um, requiem came across my ways many times, and so this is one of my my early rememberings also of music is Mozart Requiem uh, along with uh, Bruckner Emol Mess in E minor so this is the two the two works uh, and Bruckner Tedeum because I am Upper Austrian where Bruckner was also born no? um, and so these are the works that have um, um, accompanied me a very very long time and C minor Mess I uh, I did not so uh, much in choir, but only as soloist. And it's a very um, a vibrant, uh, vibrant and ener energetic um, torso. No, it's because it's not finished. It, it's very um, strong. It comes together in a very short time, this, this piece. Mm -hmm. uh, have you been before under the pattern of, the, of Louis Langre? No, never. But I long to. I long to really. Thank you. That uh, and also to sing with uh, um, Deborah York and yeah. Yes, yes, and and also to, um, to sing in the requiem with uh, Maestro um, Caballé Domenech. No? Uh, yeah, yeah. I really, I'm long to sing with both of them. So I'm. Thank you very much for having me, so I can sing with them. Okay. So could could you say something in Spanish to? <laughs> for us, please. Of course. Hola, soy Micaela Seling, a mezzo soprano, y estaré en el segundo festival internacional de música de Bogotá. Bogotá es Mozart. Lo espero en esta gran fiesta musical y recuerden que en Bogotá todos somos Mozart.